What's going on guys, Orza here and welcome back to a brand new video. So today we have got a team of the week player that EA just released to review and it is gonna be Phil Foden. I have used this gold card and I've absolutely loved this gold card. The dribbling on it is so, so nice. Now the thing is, I've picked this card up for 255,000 coins. He's going for a lot. A lot of coins, but do I believe he'll drop in price? Most likely. I can't really see him stay at 255k. Either way, the stats on the card look top tier. He's got a three-star weak foot, which is not really anything to speak about, but at least he's got the four-star skill moves, and he has got high medium work rates as well. Now, when it comes down to the chem style, I have gone for the Honda chem style. When it comes down to this card, it's a... Uh... It's a weird one, let's say, because the pace isn't anything top tier. So you definitely need to upgrade it by a decent amount. But look how low that strength actually is. There's no chem style in this game that's really going to save that strength. So you might as well just make his pace as good as possible and make his shooting ability as good as possible as well. So he has got 98 acceleration and 94 sprint speed. So he now he's an insanely fast player. His shooting ability, 90 attack and positioning. He's got 92 finishing, 90 shot power, 80 long shots, 76 volleys with a 76 penalties as well. Yes, the volleys and penalties doesn't look anything top tier, I must admit. But stuff like the shot power, the finishing and the attacking positioning is very nice. Now, his passing ability looking very good as well. 86 vision, 77 crossing, 86 short passing, 80 long passing with a 75 curve. When it comes down to his dribbling ability, and this is something that I was really impressed about when it came down to his gold card as well. 92 agility. 93 balance, 85 reactions, 90 ball control, 88 dribbling with the 84 composure. I'm obviously expecting him to feel better than his gold card, but I want to know how much better does he feel better than his gold card. Moving on to the physicals though, he has got 83 stamina, which is nothing outrageous, but it's still good enough. He's got 46 strength and he also has got 67 aggression. So when it comes down to his physicals, they're not top tier, but at least the stamina is up there. Now, when it comes down to the links, English, Man City, aka he plays in the Premier League. So the links you can get with this guy is amazing. So I have gone for Lukaku, Gundo, and Wambazaka just to get him on full chemistry. Now, when it comes down to the positions, I'm going to try him in two positions. The cam position, because I feel like that is going to be his main main position pretty much to go for. And I'm also going to try him in a strike position because I kind of want to see how he's going to like move inside the box. And I also want to see his finishing ability. So the formations I'm going to be using is a 4-3-2-1 with the left forward and right forward. And I'm also going to be using the 4-2-3-1 and obviously playing him in that cam position. So let's get into the games. I'm going to try to see if I can play it towards him. It's a double Y. It seems like it's a perfect pass. Hold up a second. See if I can maybe create myself an angle. Feeling really nice on a ball. Fake shot that? Nah, I tried way too much. Way, way too much. Like, I was seeing how he felt on the ball, and I thought I could turn Nathan Ake inside out one more time, but it clearly didn't work out for us. Use that pace now. Just keep it going. We're going to flick it. He's going to get bodied. Oh, my God. Look at that recovery. Go down the line. He's not going to expect it. That touch, by the way. That touch, by the way, is not what I meant to do. Oh, my God. That kind of, like, threw me off a little bit. Give it straight to him. Oh, that's great positioning. Come on. No, we green-timed it as well. Nice little positioning from him there in the striker position. Just sitting in front of the defensive line, allowing me to give, you know, the ball straight to his feet. Flick it forward. Ball roll this. See if I can maybe find someone open. It's not really going to work out, but we still got a ball. Oh, my God. Go for it. No, we green... Hold up. Oh my god, I thought I was going to bounce back to him again. Lukaku, give it to him. Is that onside? Oh, nah, it's not going to be onside, is it? Nah, come on. How, have he, how is he putting a block there? That is so surprising. But as you clearly can see, when it comes down to like Phil Foden's close quarter dribbling, it's top tier. Give that up. There you go. You see how he kept himself on... So He's red. Oh my god, he moved the keeper so far over to the point where he pretty much gave me a wide open goal. But it was a nice run from Phil Foden to find the open space there. And this guy, he's going to quit. He's going to make that run in behind. Can I play it perfect? He takes a very good touch. His ball control is top tier, man. And it doesn't matter what body part he's actually using as well. It's always a touch that lands directly onto his feet. Give that to Lukaku. That's perfect. Good touch from Lukaku as well. Double wide around him. Nice. Phil Foden keep going, ball roll, it's going to be a stretch, but he does manage to get that RBA. Keep in mind, that was on a three-star weak foot as well, across the goal and over to Sancho. I thought it was 100% going to get intercepted, but clearly not. Just keep going, use that pace, use that pace. 
Look how fast he is, man. Definitely go for that 100 chem star. No doubt about that. Nice dribbling. All roll around him. No way. Nah, if I could somehow squeeze my way through that, that could have been a great opportunity. Gonna go for a turn here. Is Phil Foden gonna be there? He is. Wait for it. Good twist and turn. See if I can maybe create myself an angle. Back up. No. I thought it went in. I red timed it and it still seemed like not too bad of a shot. Play that ball if possible. Phil Foden, are you through on goal? I'm going to green it across goal. Ariola coming in with a very good save. The reason I took the shot early, by the way, I saw Kempembe literally running right next to me. And I knew Kempembe was most likely going to catch me up. Inside early. Well played. Phil Foden, nice turn as well. I see Sancho. Hold up a second. That's a very good ball. A very good ball. But hey, Lacroix is Lacroix at the end of the day. You already know how much pace that guy's going to have. Through the gap. Nice. Give it down. Play one more. Oh my god. It's not where I meant it. And it's going to be offside. He did make that cut in run though. Which was really good from him. It's just clearly it went to the wrong player. Lukaku run bro. There you go. Phil Foden. If that guy comes towards me. You best believe you're going to run him behind. Let me bring him back for a second. Fake that. Then give it to him. No the pass from Lukaku was terrible. Fake shot down. There you go. No, that three-star weak foot. That three-star weak foot. I had to trust it there because it seemed like he was forcing me onto that right foot and just pretty much covering that left foot all the time. So I trusted into the three-star weak foot and it didn't end well. He's going to make a run there. He is. And he's actually on side. 1v1 versus Lacroix. Go down. Oh my God. It didn't seem like the cleanest of roulettes, but it clearly sent the player the other way and just gave us a wide open opportunity. Fake shot that. Nice. Good fake shot. Completely sent Kempembe the wrong way. Am I going to have enough pace to get away from Bruno Fernandes? Yes, I do. Oh, he did recover though. He recovered really well. One thing that I was surprised about there was the strength, by the way, Phil Foden actually had to continuously like get that ball and go past Bruno. That was something I was not expecting from him there. I'm just going to run here. Actually, hold up. Phil Foden's made a good run there. Is he going to get onto it? He is. Oh my God. OBX. That's perfect. His passing ability, by the way, no joke, is amazing. Like, that's a three-star weak foot, and it's literally onto the player, and Sancho's getting tappings out here. Pass it quick. There you go, Sancho. Give it to Phil Foden. Use that pace. Nice. Smack it. Just smack it into that far, far corner, and we end up getting a goal. This guy's paused the game, and I am playing him, as you clearly can see, in the cam position, and he's making those runs going forward, which I'm actually really enjoying. First time RVA, well played. Keep going up. Go Lukaku, play it. He's actually kept himself onside there as well. That's good pace. Really good pace. Can I get around the corner? Nah, it was it was a really tight gap to actually get through. So if he did, I would have been very surprised. But Mokieli does put in a very good tackle. Pass that down. Maybe to Lukaku. Give it back to him. No, I did that the wrong way. Hold up. I can still recover. I will take that. I will... Does that count as Phil Foden's goal? It was going on target. Hold up a second. Does it? Oh my god, it actually does. We take that. Lukaku's making an amazing run down that line. And you best believe we are going to play him. Is it going to be a perfect ball? It is. And I see him in the middle. Please be a good ball. Oh. Is it going to bounce to him? No. I thought it was actually going to bounce to Foden on the edge of the box. It was a good pass from Foden to Lukaku. It just, it's unfortunate we couldn't get the finish at the end. So it is time to review and we ended up playing four games with Phil Foden and we scored four goals while also getting ourselves two assists as well. The one thing I was really surprised about, by the way, was the strength he actually had. There were certain occasions I thought surely Phil Foden is going to get bodied off the ball. He just didn't. He was actually fighting for it with that 67 aggression, fighting back for the ball, which... It was pretty good, I must admit. I thought he was going to be a player where if he matches up against anyone that's got like 60 plus strength, he's just going to get pushed to a side. That's what I'm pretty sure everyone thought, but that is definitely, definitely not the case. Either way, he's going for 255k. Do I believe it's worth it? I don't. 255k at the start of the year is a lot of coins for a player. So I don't believe he is worth the 255k, but what do I believe he's worth? I would say like 100 to 120k. If you can get him for that price, that is a very good price for him. But yeah, 255, nah, no chance. Either way, let's get into the ratings pace-wise. He was a fast player, but I was really getting challenged when it came up to, you know, matching up against Lacroix. 
and Kampembe. They're not two players that you can outpace very easy, but Phil Foden did actually do pretty well against them. So for the pace, I'm going to give him a good rating and it is going to be a 9 out of 10. Please, please go for that Hunter Kemp style. Shooting ability, that freestyle weak foot let me down. It definitely let me down on a lot of occasions, but the left foot seemed perfectly fine. So for the shooting, I would go ahead and give him an 8.6 out of 10. It's nothing outrageous, but it's still a good shot. Now, passing ability... I was impressed with his passing. I really was. Like, I looked at it, like, 86 short passing, 80 long passing. I was like, ah, it's, it's all right, you know. It's all right. It's not, like, top tier. It's not, like, Bruno Fernandes or KDB kind of passing. But I was actually impressed how accurate it was. And I was impressed how often it was going straight onto my, uh, my uh, what's called, my winger's feet, let's say. Like, the LBYs straight onto him every time, pretty much. So, for the passing, I would give him a good rating. And it is going to be an 8.5 out of 10. Dribbling ability. Oh, I did enjoy his dribbling. I really did. The R1 dribbling, the left stick dribbling was top tier. So for the dribbling rating, I would go ahead and give him a 9 out of 10. Now, physicals. Hmm. You know what I mean? Hmm. That, that, that's the issue of it. All right. Because yes, even though the strength was not as bad as I thought it was going to be, it still wasn't great. So for the physicals, I am going to go ahead and give him a 6 out of 10. And that's a nice 6 out of 10 as well. But overall, rating out of 10 for Phil Foden. He deserves an okay rating. He's nothing outrageous. I can say that straight up. He's nothing outrageous, but he is definitely a good card. So for the rating, I would go ahead and give him an 8.3 out of 10. He's, as I said, man, he's a good card. It's just, there is issues. There definitely is. Strength being one of them and that freestyle weak foot in a lot of occasions going forward let me down when it came down to shooting. It really did. So yeah, an 8.3 out of 10, I feel like he's very fair for Phil Foden. Either way, I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, make sure to leave a like, make sure to leave a comment. But for now, peace.